Hi, this is 365801, and today I'm going to be going through the best books of 2021 as chosen by the Goodreads Choice Awards 2021 to see if there are any that I would like to read and put on my TBR. Now, I don't usually pay that much attention to Goodreads, but this year I have been using it a lot more to keep track of my books and my reading, and I have been using it to try and find out a little bit more about male romance and books I might be interested in reading. I have also checked out the Goodreads Choice Awards for previous years to see if there are any male male romance titles that I might want to add to my TBR. So I'm going to be doing that today for the choices for the best books of 2021. Now some of the nominees are already on my shelves which means that some of them I'm already aware of so I'm hoping to pick up some more to add to books that I want to read. Now in the past I've only ever really checked out the Goodreads Choice Awards specifically for the graphic novel and comic section due to the fact that I read manga and almost every single year I am disappointed that there is no manga on uh, the nominees list and once again this year it seems to be the case as well. I find this really disappointing. I always want to see some manga on there. Obviously some people might say it's a manga, it's not a graphic novel, it's not comic so it doesn't you know, go into that category, but then there's no other category for manga, and there are a few titles that are released every year that are amazing titles that should be um, probably known a lot more, um, promoted, publicised, they sell well, so um, it's a shame that they're not included in graphic novels and comics. So I'm just going to go through all of the nominees and the different categories and see if anything jumps out at me or uh, takes my fancy and I'll just hover over or I'll click on and have a wee read of the synopsis just to see if it's something I would like to put on my TBR or things I would like to read in the future. If there are any books that you have read this year that have made it onto the nominees list or even if they haven't made it onto the nominees list and you think I should read them, um, if you think 365801 would love this, just put a little comment down below and let me know I love recommendations. Now a lot of these titles I do recognise from the cover artwork just because I do watch some booktubers and follow some people on Instagram and they do talk about some of these titles or have been reading these titles as the year has gone on but many of them I have not read and I don't really know anything about. Some of the categories as well I don't read from normally so non-fiction, autobiography, poetry, these are ones that I don't usually read from. Also, of course, um, the middle grade and children's. I do actually read some occasionally, but um, it's been a while since I had to <laughs> for my job, so I haven't done that in a long time. Um, as I said about the graphic novels, I was really surprised this year not to see any Heartstopper. Obviously, volume four came out this year. I haven't picked it up yet. I've got the first volume in print and I've got all three volumes 1, 2 and 3 in digital and I haven't picked up volume 4 yet and I was really surprised that it wasn't on um, the nominees list at all this year so that might be quite a shocker for some people as well. Um, I do like looking at the young adult um, selection just I recognise so many of them from book talk they're all over the place so it's really interesting to see what has made it onto the nominees list. Now I had three volumes already on my TBR so we may as well just go through the ones that I already know about and I'm planning to read. The first one on the list is Under the Whispering Door. I've had an advanced copy of this TJ Clean work for a while before it even released. Um, unfortunately I haven't had a chance to read it yet and I haven't read any of his work so I am hoping to try and see if I can get to it sometime in November. I might not manage it though so it might end up being a December read for me. The next one I got an advanced copy of was Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. This has had mixed reviews and it's a horror and it's not something I usually would read but it does have a season word in the title and the buzzword for December has seasons so I'm planning on reading it sometime in December. The last one that I had already on my TBR was Iron Widow. This has obviously had loads of hype on social media. I have watched the YouTube videos about 
uh, Mulan. I like a, a video essay and I like learning new things. So this seems like um, one that I would really like to read. Another one that popped up was Anyway the Wind Blows. This is the third in the Simon Snow trilogy, which I have not read anything at all of. But if you can see uh, at the side, there's some C.S. Picat. So if you like that, then you might like this. And I liked that, so I might like this. Another one that popped up was The Gunkle, The Gay Uncle. This is sounds anyway like something I would enjoy, but also something that would be perfect for a movie that my mother would love. <laughs> so yeah, this sounds like a, a, a gay uncle who ends up having to look after his niece and nephew, um, full of probably laughs and a lot of tears as well. Now the next one is The Charm Offensive. This was the only one in the romance category that I think actually had a male-male relationship. The rest of them weren't. Um, so yeah, I think it's the only one that's really available. It does sound lovely. It sounds like one I would be interested in. I have seen this cover before. I've read the synopsis before. So it was already on my radar as something that I might want to pick up. And the next one is Winter's Orbit. This is by Everina Maxwell. And once again, I actually already have a digital copy of this. Uh, Amazon had them on sale for 99 pence. And I was like, oh, I've kind of seen this. Oh, I've kind of heard of this. Uh, I'll just pick it up. It's only 99p. So I haven't read it yet and it's sitting on my Kindle and I hadn't even properly read the synopsis yet. Um, so yeah, this seems like something that would be interesting and also sci-fi uh, fantasy. So maybe interesting as well and available. I have it. And the last one that I picked up um, that I might want to read because this is Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the World. This is by Benjamin all year science i don't know how to pronounce that sorry because i have never read the first volume <laughs> but i now have it because it was on sale for 99p because the second volume was coming out they reduced the price down on kindle so i was like oh i've seen this people go on about this all the time and never read it because it's it's only been out for a few years i mean i'm an old lady so it's not really something i picked up but i know that lots of people have been talking about it so I have the first volume and I'd like to read the first volume first and then see if I want to pick up this one. So those are the titles that I am interested in from this year's uh, Goodreads Choice Awards nominees. Uh, only eight. Some were already on my TBR and a few added to my TBR. But in terms of actual straight male-male romance, there was only one title, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, there are a few that have elements of male-male romance, but they're sci-fi, fantasy or horror. Um, but they seem like they would be interesting. Are there any 2021 releases that you would recommend that I read if I'm after some male male romance? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, did your favourite get nominated this year? Let me know as well. I am 365801 and I make videos about male male romance, BL manga, yaoi and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for coming along with me today on a wee quick video and I hope you have a good day. Take care everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!